Welcome to the Sales Acceleration Show. And today we have the best dressed man in Belgium. Hey, You're thanks. Hey. Hi. Welcome to the show. So we're going to talk about thought leadership. We're going to talk about social influence. We're going to talk, talk about how to build it. Entrepreneurship is going to go in all directions. All right. But you have to know one thing. This is the only guy in the world. Each time I see him, I get a big smile on my hey. face. <laughs> so maybe for What our an viewers, introduction. <laughs> there we go. For our viewers, yes. tell them a bit what you do. All right, uh, I'm Joachim Badejo or Joachim Badejo, and I'm an entrepreneur first place. Uh, I love entrepreneurship. Um, I started my own company uh, called Oriomi, my yeah. small little startup. I started that uh, one year and a half ago with started KBC, and actually what we do is like we do iPhone repair on demand. So let's say you break your phone, we will send somebody and they like will phone. repair yeah. it here on the spot. So that's my first small company that I uh, founded last year. Your first love. My my babies, my yeah, everything. Yeah. Um, is, it, is it because of that you started doing all the all the social thought leadership? Yeah. I mean, he has a massive factory. <laughs> I always ask, if I see you post on, it's always crazy. I mean, what, what do you do? What's what's yeah. working best for you at the moment? Like at the moment, I'm like doing social media. I'm doing influencer marketing as an influencer, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm I'm trying to run Oriomi. But I've noticed while running Oriomi that most of my clientele or my clients uh, would come because of my personal brand. So exactly, actually, like using myself to yeah. build my startup. And I noticed I had most fun in, in, in marketing Oriomi in, in in being you in being myself. <laughs> That's a hard one because yeah. like iPhone repair is a very not sexy yeah, um, industry. Although you can make a lot of money in not sexy industries. Of, of course, definitely. Right. But like how I try to um, spice it up a little bit was mm -hmm. by um, like, what do you post on Instagram if you have a boring company? And I thought like, you know what? Maybe I'll take selfies with my clients and I'll <laughs> post them on Instagram and they will repost them. And that way I used my own personal brand uh, yeah. to market actually my startup. And all of a sudden everybody started seeing pictures of me everywhere with everybody on, on Facebook. And, but how did you end up the best dressed man in Belgium? Well, um, is that because of that, that kind of went out of hand and just grew yeah. and grew and got bigger? And, and the, I think that was because um, I never like like I, I never thought like okay today I'm gonna build my personal brand mm -hmm. it just happened I think because I'm just um, very open and I yep. love meeting but, new people but after a way you saw this is working yep and then you did a lot more of it I mean you, you really exactly is there, so, is there some advice you, you, you can um, say just don't forget that do that advice um, I definitely think like documenting your life is, is, yep. is really uh, one part because if nobody knows you, nobody knows you. Yeah. So and, and it's hard to find up new content all the time. Exactly. Right? So by documenting, um, people get started following you to follow you if they like what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And by documenting my life, like other brands started seeing this. Like, and they don't see it directly, but it's like that one friend that watches your vlogs that yeah. tells uh, talks about you on at the at the dinner, at the dinner table. Yeah. And and that's how the ball gets rolling. Yeah. So then uh, all of a sudden I got um, selected for best dressed men. And I was like, I saw all these other people that were nominated. I was like, what am I Damn. doing in this yeah. space? <laughs> like I'm I'm just like a small fish. So I was like really shocked. And then all of a sudden um, I even won it. And then I could use that as leverage um, yeah. when I work with brands. I can tell them like, yeah, and I won best dressed man. So instead of it's working perfect. Perfect. with somebody with 100K yeah. followers, someone with a 30K followers, but he won best dressed man, brings you leverage, yeah. you know? But your mainly focus is Instagram. That's your yeah. main spiel. Uh, we just talked before the, the interview, we were talking about LinkedIn. So I'm exactly. really like the B2B guy in LinkedIn, yeah. trying all the way. I know how to work with, I'm really bad and that's with Instagram. So. Very cool. Yeah, it's, it's a very different way. Yeah. It's very different. Very education. different and very different algorithms because yeah. I think the Facebook algorithm, because Facebook owns Instagram, is a bit more um, competitive and, and, yeah. and they, they want your money. So yeah, they yeah. want to get a piece of everything that you earn. And I but, think. But do you put money in Instagram? No. You, no? I, I've tried it. I've tried to make uh, adverts. Mm -hmm. And the thing is with adverts here um, in Belgium, it's, it's, it's a bit expensive, but. It I, is expensive. It is expensive, exactly. But like what I didn't do correctly and I think what most people do wrong when they use adverts in uh, Instagram is they don't put a good call to action. Mm. So you can make an advert and just post your picture mm -hmm. and okay more people will see it but there's no call to action to follow me because. Oh yeah right. And, and I think 
even me, like that's if when I when I would make adverts for myself on Instagram, that's what I should um, bring in more. It's like the the the, the real CTA and the yeah. upsell, actually yeah. the upsell of exactly. That's what, what's what's the, what's what's the goal if if I look at. Are you also building a, a social brand thought leadership kind of company where you say that's, I can help other companies? Because at the end, he, he, I mean, you got so many followers and all that. Exactly. So it seems very logical to say, hey, people ask you. I mean, that's, I'm asking you. How yeah, do you do it? exactly. That, that, that's, the secret of fun. <laughs> that's the thing what I've been thinking about like lately is like, okay, like a lot of people want to live the kind of life I'm living at the moment because of my personal brand. Mm. And this is something I want to teach other people because like I love teaching. I love teaching other people. I think if I wouldn't be an entrepreneur, I would be a teacher in school. Um, so I, I, I definitely love it. And I think that there's also business in it. And that's what I like most because a lot of influencers, they make money, but they're like dependent on the brands that want to work with them. Yeah, of course. But I think when you're an influencer, like I don't really like to call myself an influencer, but anyways, At marketing least terms. Some influence. Yeah, well, uh, exactly. <laughs> I think it's more interesting to create your own business around it and, yeah. and just be dependent on yourself and all the brands that come with it is a nice extra. But from a pure sales negotiation business point of view, mm -hmm. if people come to you, you're in a way much better position to negotiate and yep. to drive your pricing up. I mean, exactly. that no. would be, and I, I truly believe that thought leadership is, if you can do some kind of form where people find you, mm -hmm. you're always in a better position. Yeah, exactly. I, like Gary Vaynerchuk said it. like the best leverage you can have in a business meeting is just to have a perfect personal brand because yeah. that's something you can't find anywhere else if, yeah. if they want that person. And whatever happens, gonna be the person. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's also the best career advice you can give somebody is actually if you make sure you get your own brand up and going, yeah. whatever happens, don't worry, people will find you for what you do. Exactly, and that's why I think like You know, that's how I started on LinkedIn. Because yeah. I was kind of thinking, hey, um, I, I, I left the company and then I thought, center stage, what am I going to do? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to build a bit of brand on, on LinkedIn. Okay. So, so other people phone me to give me jobs. Crazy. And funnily enough, that didn't happen in the beginning. But the moment it happened, things were going so fast, I didn't need it anymore. So I started That's to say, crazy. no, I oh, know, I oh, know. And now I, I don't, I'm not busy with that anymore. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very strange, but that's exactly the same thing. Exactly, it's, it's, it's crazy how it works. And I, I think like 2008, like everybody needs a personal brand. It, it doesn't matter what you do. Yep. Like even if you, if you have like two pizza places, which one would you prefer? The one you know somebody or somebody that you don't yep. know? Like if you have the choice. But then stuff will become very intriguing going forward. Mm -hmm. That is, if everybody has a personal brand, how do you stand out? And I mean, not all people are interesting for me to follow. And exactly. weirdly enough, some people that I really would want to see their life, they are just not posting anything. Yeah, exactly. So, and then comes AI and all the technology. I'm really curious True. what's going to happen. Um, and then new legislation coming in, GDPR saying, no, you can't get that email. And so yeah, yeah, really, yeah. I think 2018 is going to be very bad, interesting because, to see. Especially for the ones like you who mm -hmm. already have the brand, you can scale it like crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And I think a little bit of advice, like just showing in some advice. Like the crazy thing is like Instagram, Facebook, they all have algorithms and it can like change every day. So, and this is, this. I bet you're gonna know this one. And I just started because I, I was talking with Peter. I think when you build your personal brand somewhere, collect your emails because then afterwards, like let's say tomorrow Instagram dies off, at least you have still these contacts, you know, the and you can, so you can bring them over them later. to your uh, new platform or you can leverage okay. them in any other way. Okay, perfect. I think we should stop here. All right, cool. I'm already perfect. smiling. Yeah. I need to go on Instagram. So check, out, <laughs> check out our Instagram, check his Instagram. We'll make sure we tag you into it so we can find everybody. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like what you've seen, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for a lot more. Joachim, take care, buddy. Thank you. You too.